I don't know how I could be upset. I feel too dead because it is a beautiful day today, and I don't know how I could be upset today. Last on the sky will definitely take you a hit. It was night time and they were held together in a blanket. But then they started to rain, so they were about to put the top boy on their back so it wouldn't get wet. Okay, they had the tarp up the hunting and it was starting to rain, but after they noticed the hunting, the thing that they were lying on was starting to fall apart. And they did not know what to do. The storm basically blew the thing they were lying on uh, in the bed apart uh, and it fell apart and crash landed on the ground. Dean basically crash landed onto the ground, but he was okay, so he got up uh, and decided to look very frightened is what he did. They basically found a friend uh, and what did they do? They built a boat. But it was an airship, it would fly. But they could not get the fly, they needed Mahida to get flying. So that's what they did, they looked for Mahida. They basically got the ship uh, up in the air uh, and it was flying. And they were out of the fog. Now, the third one, too. Sky World. It was late at night when Dave could not get asleep. So basically what he did is that he got out of bed and I got dressed and went outside. Steven got outside to get a breath of fresh air, but he noticed something. A bird was coming at him, and he was carrying something. Do, 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 do. When the bird was gone, David looked at his hand, and he was holding a red key. And so he left her task to the red key. It said that this key opens a door to a treasure what is unmatchable. Unmatchable wealth. Your dreams will all come true when you find this treasure, it said. So David decided he would put the key in his pocket and go to bed. But he'll tell his friend in the morning. Basically, it was the next day, and David had something to tell his friend. He said he found the key last night, and it had a letter tied to it that it believes to a treasure. And they said, "Okay, David, that sounds like fun. Let's go and check her." And they said, "That sounds like fun. Why not?" So that's what they were going to do. So basically, they were going to land the airship on on the ground and go on a treasure hunt. Come along and join me on our bed. Now we are going to see any day. So come along and join me on our bed. And we all see how much fun we'll have with you. So come along, take my hand. Come along, join me on our bed. And we all see how much fun we'll have with you. So come along, take my hand.
my cat and let's go on a business. We are going to see a lot of me thing. We are going to get ourselves in a lot of trouble. But we will really get ourselves out of it. So it doesn't really matter at all. So come along and join me on my banner. Tammy said to dear, hi, do you know where my parents are? Dear said, I don't know where your parents are. I don't know who you are. Tammy said, my name's Tammy. What's your name? Dear said, my name's David. Tammy said, a thing. Really? I can't find my parents? Yes, but I don't know where they are. Dear said, how about you come with us, a thing? Because we're looking for a treasure, right? And maybe we'll run into your parents? Tammy said, okay, that sounds like a fair deal. Dear said, okay guys, this is what the map says, so hold on. this is the map, we've got to click this pathway up to the mountain, and then at the top, behind there, a door with a key, in, and that is where the treasure will be. So are we ready guys? They said, yeah, we are ready. Dear said, okay guys, this is the door to the treasure, so I'll get the key out of my pocket, and I'll open the door, and we'll go inside, okay? So they said, yeah, let's do that. When they opened the door and they went inside, they noticed something. The treasure was not there. Someone got through the treasure for they did. They didn't know why. Tammy said, maybe there's a secret pathway in here, and it leads to where the treasure really is. Dan said, okay, well, let's see if we can look for that. They basically looked anywhere and they could not find where the treasure was or if there was a single path. And then David said, maybe the treasure was a vampire. Sarah said, yeah, a vampire. Jane said, yeah, a vampire. David said, let's just go back to the shop. I can't deal with this. Sarah said, yeah, this is so silly and vampire. David said, I think that's what the treasure was, a vampire. They were basically up in the air like, in the ship like, and Tammy was allowed to live with them until they found her mom and she was okay with that. It was basically late at night when they went to bed like, but David the hunt went outside anyway before he went to bed. Sarah said to David, don't you want to go to bed? Because it's pretty late out uh -huh, and we might go on our bed or a uh -huh, tour and we have to get wrapped up, right? David said, yeah, I know. I was just thinking, you know how I found that key uh -huh, and we were supposed to find the huge track and all that, but it was nothing uh -huh. Sarah said, yeah. David said, uh -huh, that's the thing, the treasure was that, right? The vampire hunt. We got to go on the vampire hunt and we had a lot of fun. So I said, yeah, well, David, I'm going to go to bed. David said, okay, well, I'm going to go to bed too. <laughs> A lovely day today, a gorgeous day indeed. I don't know how I could be upset. I feel too dead because it is a beautiful day today. And I don't know how I could be upset today.